Who now they were very because <laughs> you've, you've built a connection with someone yeah we don't we mustn't take connections for granted so sure. you build a connection you care about that person and there's still your person which you still love but now it kind of like disrupted the connection here mm-hmm. you know? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey family, a quick one. Over 87% of you are consuming this content every single week but are not subscribed. That means you are enjoying the growth conversations but you are not liking, you are not subscribing and you are not sharing it with others. So please, I plead with you, please subscribe so that you can share the love, you can share the growth and you can share this wonderful platform and wonderful safe space with others as well. Enjoy the episode. So it, it's unfortunate that I only discover you fully through a television program, which is all about something that is very personal and private, right? Yeah. Which is your romantic love life. Um, did you ever think what it, the way that you're actually breakthrough into the industry would be in that manner? Because looking back now, you have been working. Yes. Ne? Yes. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's, I think it's quite evident that I've actually been there yeah. in the background trying to make my way up there also but at the same time i'm like what is it that i have what is it that i'm bringing yeah yeah so i feel like i'm more in in a path where i'm still trying to discover myself find mm-hmm. what is it that i actually can do because i've applied myself in so many things there's bodybuilding there's pageants there's fashion shows and then i find myself in the in the television production in the industry so yeah. still I, I'm one person who likes doing something that I'm really sure of. Sure. And I feel like Uguti, I can. I have all the capabilities and uh, the tools to actually complete that task. So I never thought in a million years, Uguti, it would be a reality show <laughs> that would actually put me there yeah, into yeah. the world and actually introduce me. Uh, interesting, because that speaks to me about tenacity. We live in an age where a person who particularly looks like you, Lindila, you're a good-looking man, you're dark, you're well-built, you're tall. Mm. Everybody would predict, Uguti, you should be getting every gig out there. Yes. Everybody would predict, Uguti, everybody wants to throw themselves at you. Mm. Um, where do you get this tenacity from to, to, to keep pushing, to keep trying different things? Um, because another person would easily give up or another person would use all these privileges that you have mm. to quicken the process. To quicken the process. I hear you. Uh, sure. It's quite tricky as it dates back. I've actually had a moment where I actually thought and tried to process everything. The, the journey, the journey. when I speak of the journey, I speak of the time I came here to Joburg from trying out these new things. I think it's more of, I've, I've always been that person who wants to challenge himself. Mm-hmm. I want to do easy things. I want to do difficult things. And uh, in the process of doing difficult things, it's like I'm proving myself, to, I'm proving myself that I can do these things. In as much as people perceive me as this quiet person who's reserved person, because from a background, they're my family. I come from a very bubbly family. Okay. My, my, my siblings are very bubbly, my yeah. brother, and I think I look up to him most. So it was a matter of, I want to show him that I can do this, because he's, 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 he's actually one of the coolest kids in Bloom. Okay. He's well known. Okay. My brother has, he, like, he's just that guy in Jay who's, you want to be like him, you want to admire him. He's a barber. Okay. And when I say he's a barber, I'm not saying he's a barbanger from a small shop. He's well established. Okay. He's it's a big brand. Yeah. And yeah. barbering is actually big in Bloom. So yeah. he's I think he's one of the people who I feel like Ugo they have pioneered e barbering the lifestyle. Sure. The lifestyle so, around. Yes. Yeah. So I looked up to him so much, and and he's the one who got me into bodybuilding. Okay. I want to call it bodybuilding, not in a matter of esports, because mm-hmm. there's bodybuilding, the sports bodybuilding. Also, like, just uh, rebuilding your life. Not your life, your body. It's mm-hmm. bodybuilding. So he's into bodybuilding. And I feel like the protocols that you apply in bodybuilding, they apply to life. So I looked, I looked up to him so much to a point where I feel like now life became a being enough for my brother. Him seeing me. But because I'm tired, man, he's an inspiration to me. Whenever I achieve these things... I feel that fulfillment, Yabona. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and at mm-hmm. the same time, I'm like, I can actually do this. Mm-hmm. 
I never thought in a million years that mm, nah, I can do something like that. Yeah. And now nah, yeah, they'll be there at home. They'll be like, hey, band. Lindile, guys, Lindile, out of all people, yeah. the shy one. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, we can't believe it. And they're very proud of me. So I think that's one thing there that just keeps me going and be like, I can do anything that I apply my mind to. Because nah, to be honest with you, I only ended up in grade 12. Okay. I never went to university, varsity sure. or whatever. I, from the time I finished school, I told myself, you know what? Um, okay, what now? Let me get a job. What a job. Obviously, in my mind, you like it's going to be like a temporary thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then, yeah, there's a plan. Everyone has a plan. You, you have a life that you want for yourself. I wanted to be a doctor because of the subjects that I did at school. Sure. I, was, I liked biology. So I was like, maybe I should do something in the lines of Yaboni biology, mm-hmm. medical or something. Uh, but life never goes according to how we see it because there's also God. God mm-hmm. has a plan for your life. Sure. You don't know. And I feel like there's been like... Just e, I don't know what to call it. E, just hints from people. You know, people people will give you hints, and it's God sometimes talking to you. Cause you, I would get people be like, "Hey man, you look like a model. Hey, you photogenic stuff like that." Cause I've I've always been the person who dress well, and fun, I want to look presentable. Sure. When you see me looking like this, Uzo, Uzo, that's how you're gonna judge me. Which okay, he takes good care of himself. Yes. His, his hair is done. His nails are done. Yabona, he's wearing proper. So it's a form of respect of also so, showing the other person how to treat you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think that's where now I started realizing, Oguti, there's something about me I'm not sure what, but it's giving camera. I need to be on the screen. Yeah. yeah. What am I going to do? What, 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 what will I be doing on the screen? Yeah. I'm not sure yet, but yes. And I feel like that is my purpose, and I am living in it now. And what I'm discovering is that being in this purpose, it's not only about me. Mm-hmm. If I can because I find myself being that person who wants to plug other people. Mm-hmm. If I have access to something and I feel like Uguti, maybe what I have is not enough for this certain post or breed, I'll let someone know. Someone who I know, I feel like, hey man, this guy does this, he's good. With this and that and that, let me plug them. And that's where I am now. But at the same time, I feel like I need to also build myself. Create Ulindile to be Ulindile that okay, Ulindile is going a certain direction because now we get so confused, the Abona, and just getting lost in the process because we want to do so many things. But I feel like everything that I've done up to so far has uh, actually helped me to become the person that I'm becoming. I'm not, I'm not a finished product, yeah, I'm still, yeah, I'm still yeah, yeah. a work in progress. There's things that I'm, I feel like I need to unlearn, uh, take that, do this, try this. And in Sibon Uguti, where life froze, froze us at. Having a sibling like your brother, is he older or younger? He's two years older than him. Two years older than you. Mm. Having a person in that close proximity or vicinity as home mm-hmm. to be a direct inspiration to you, what does it do to your childhood? What do, how does it shift you as a person? Sure. Actually, as in now, how does it shift me as a person? It actually started here in and it, I just already explained to Guti, I've always been the quiet one. Okay. The reserved one. And yeah, I see him. He's light skin. I think Ekaya Sinjan, C C six, six siblings, ne? Yeah. Well, I can myself also. It's my sister, first born. How old is she? Uh no, this is, I think when Lulang eight years, I'm not sure. Well, sharp. And then it's my brother, mm-hmm. young Api. Then it's me. Young Apun Lulang two years, and then Ozimba Wamu Andil, Tim Lulang two years. Mm-hmm. And then the Samkel. So I grow up. Uh, I grew up with my brother, like we were very close because sure. two years gap. Yeah, so school is yeah. two, and um, yeah, I that's where it, the relationship is with Kale Kona. I want to be like him. He's very smart. My brother is very smart. He's very smart. He's not books. Well, he is book smart, but he's he's, a, he's an artist. Okay. I consider him an artist. Mm-hmm. Yes, because he's that person. He's a perfectionist. So I'm getting all these things for him, and I feel like the people that we become. It's things that we experience from the early childhood, Yabona, because we we we, yeah, we are conditioned, I would say, and it's your parents are there to guide you. Sure, they show you what's right, what's wrong. Mm-hmm. But it, it does not mean you will you will do all those things. But yeah. they are still there. And I grew up in a Christian family, mm-hmm. so I think everything that I do or everything that I am also now it comes from that also. And Geopudwami, but I think. I idolized him so much to 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 this point. 
And whenever we have a relationship, we talk about a relationship with Taiko, right? We're not on speaking terms. I don't know, Nji. I'm, I'm just not myself. Sure. And I think during the production of, of the show, speaking about the show Ultimatum, we were not in good terms and it kind of had an effect on me somehow, but not fully, fully, fully. I will explain that as we, yeah, as we proceed. Yeah. But that's, I just wanted to show you, Guti, uh, where this is coming from. Mm-hmm. I feel like, yeah, that's where it came from. And also now you find yourself in the process. You're like, okay, I think this is the person that I want to become. And this is what I'm taking with me. And then you get people now who will now start seeing things about you that they feel good to money. I want to see you could you could do you could do better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You could do better because I want to explain now the foundation as a Kayani. Here's one thing that I think I sometimes struggle with in my relationship is the conflict resolution. Okay, we we used to rep- reprimand each other by not talking to each other, and that was fine for silence, silence, ignoring. Yeah, Eish, my brother. Leo, it's 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 one thing, and I only got to actually realize that it's toxic. It's a toxic trait. Sure. Only when we started doing the show, because we had these therapy sessions, yeah, yeah. and then I spoke to the therapy for the first time ever in my life, and I was like, "Why am I talking so much? I'm telling this person about my entire life. I'm like, is this person trained to do this? <laughs> Obviously, but it kind of left. Uh, I don't know. I felt so easy. Mm-hmm. I felt mm-hmm. a weight coming off my my shoulder after that. And I'm like, okay. I mean, I'm I'm starting to identify identify flaws sure. and things about myself. I'm like, I might as well use this experience to work on myself because we, we more than anything, be, more than anything, sure, more than anything. And I wouldn't say secretly like, we're not done, but the first step to fixing a problem is identifying, identifying it. it. Yeah, and they yeah, are. That's that's where I'm at. Would you say being in a family that's big, because it sounds like there was a lot of you guys at home, mm-hmm. um, creates sort of an existential crisis? We would see where do I fit into this puzzle? Mm-hmm. Um, can I ever be great in this puzzle? Do you think that's maybe why you were shy? No, I had no, I had no reason to be shy. is it's very tricky. now, as he grows, he's becoming more quiet. But he was that loud child yeah i think it's interesting things are changing hence i say things that happen in your life Mm -hmm. change you also what you go through the kind of people you interact with the kind of people that you um, you mix up with you take some of the things from them but you always have to know as a personal good this is this these are my values these are my principles this is how i operate in life uh you might have an opinion about this we might not we might agree or to disagree on certain things Mm -hmm. i am grounded this is me so, yes, I think family dynamics it's, it plays a big role also when it comes to e- relationships mm-hmm. or friendships. So, yes, it had an, an impact, but naturally I'm shy of it. I'm shy, like I, I, tr- you know, t- like I shake when I, it takes me time to actually get comfortable yeah, around when, people. Around people and be there. Yeah. And when, when, when I, when, once I found that, I was well, really like, okay, what happened now? <laughs> this is a different person I'm speaking yeah, to now, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I think that's how I am. So I always identify myself as a... I say I'm an introvert, ne? selectively extroverted. Pause family a bit. Mm-hmm. Let's come here to why many people who clicked on this video because they saw this face mm-hmm. and they recognized from a particular platform. What makes a person force or try to force the person that they love to marry them <laughs> in six months? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think this is one question like everyone is asking. They want to know. It's only six months. It's, it's not that deep, Lindy. Why are you forcing me to marry you? Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and answer this as honest as I can. Sure. As honest as I can. Um, when it comes to my relationship with Cezanne, I think the most important phase of the relationship was the friendship phase. Okay. Yes. Uh, so we were initially neighbors. That's when I got to see him like, oh. So I do have a neighbor. Interesting. We'll see how this plays out. And then it happened that Lucisa needed me to charge her laptop for her because she didn't pay electricity. <laughs> okay. Sharp. Well, I, I hope she does not fight me after this one. <laughs> for this one. Uh, so I charge her laptop and I realized good it's the neighbor. Yo. Bro, I was like, yo, I could charge this laptop for days. 
Don't mind. <laughs> Don't mind. Yeah, I, I, I'm just going to try and make it short, because I feel like I'm just going to end up just wanting to take out every detail as it is. We were neighbors, and then we became friends. And, and then, honest, obviously, during the friendship phase, you get to be yourself. You don't need to really impress someone because you don't see them like that. Okay. Initially, that's how, that's how it was. Well, Naya, she has her reasons when she saw me. You go to, uh, how did, what was her impression when she saw me, and what was it that she wanted from me? Cool. I, well, I opened up to her. She opened up to me. We were very open and vulnerable towards each other. We got to know the dark side and the, 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 all the good things about each other. And from that, I was like, wow. Well, despite all these other things that, are, that, she, has, that she has shared with me, sure. I still see a good person that can help me grow. And I hope now I have what it takes to help them grow in okay. a way. Okay. And yes, so yes, it got very. <laughs> I don't want to say physically. Obviously, she got she was she was attracted to me, and I was actually also attra- attracted to her. I got more attracted to the person that she is. Like it blew me away. Like I was like, how can a person be like this? It's impossible. It's impossible. And I think one thing to note is that during our friendship, I was. I was just going through things, things that I feel like I was not even ready to be in a relationship at that point. But the way English is corner, I even forgot everything. Literally, like nothing really mattered to me. It was like, you know what? We complain so much about things that we don't have or the things that we want. We, we don't see what we have. Life on its own is a gift. Being able to wake up every day is a gift. And we, 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 we should be grateful for that. So Caesar has a background here. Christian Nai, she comes from a Christian family. She's, she's, a, she's a praying woman. Mm-hmm. She's a prayer warrior. That's what I want to call it. She's a prayer warrior. If, even if I know that I forgot to pray, Caesar prays for us. So that was very important. And already I was like, I know what I want in a woman. You have it. You know yourself more than anyone. Mm-hmm. This is what I want. And this is what I want. Or I could tolerate this and that. And Caesar ticked almost all the boxes even if they are boxed. I don't even know if there's boxes, but yeah, yeah, yeah. she ticked a lot of things, sure. and I was like, yo. Why do you say it was impossible? Uh, is it because up until then, you had never been loved like that, or love hasn't co- hadn't come to you packaged like how Caesar had packaged it? Yes. Um, uh, no offense to people I've been with before, but it feels unconditional. Oof. It feels unconditional. I don't think I even, I do love myself, but the way she loves me, like, I'm like, how can a person love me even more than I love myself? Because hmm. there's moments where I'm like, I, would just, I, just, I don't feel like myself, I don't feel okay, my energy in J equals zero, but she's there, she will pump you up, she will tell you that you have what it takes, go do it, Bona. I now was a born good man, no man, you know what, if she, if she tells me this and she's like this, then I have it, why, why not believe it? So, yeah, so Caesar is just that catalyst in my life. And I am trying as much as I can to pour back to her cup. But when, when we talk, like, she would be like, you don't give yourself too much credit. Ever since I've met you, I'm like this, I'm like this. I see life this way. I was never serious about that and that. And I'm like, yeah, ne? And as much as now I'm seeing things, I'm learning things, I'm taking from this person, yeah. there's something that I'm giving. And, yeah, it's it's quite interesting and... I am looking forward to what the future holds for us, even though it's a bit not easy now. It's a bit uncomfortable because now there's people involved. There's noise. There's that and that. People mm, have noise. people have a different pres- di- correct. Yeah, different opinions about our relationship. But at the end of the day, we know each other. We know our relationship, and we will define our own relationship. Mm-hmm. And that's the most important thing. If she was so amazing, if she was so perfect, if she was the love that you never knew you needed, mm-hmm. why take it to television, which brings in the noise? Television uh, is possibly harmful. harmful why yeah. take it to a platform, furthermore, that is about, mm-hmm. quote unquote, first forcing her into taking a step she's not ready to take? I like the question. Um, I'm going to put it like this. Uh, during the friendship phase, ne, we once spoke about mar- uh, marriage. You, you, and it, you, we, we, we out here trying to read people. We want to read people. We want to understand people. You, you ask them questions. You, you get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. You want to know how they were raised. They are gonna, 
what life challenges they went through. Yeah. Because this gets to give you at least a picture of how strong is this person. And Usiza told me straight up, this is how she feels about marriage. And um, I was like, okay, I see what you mean. But I'm like, I, I understand where you're coming from. And I'm like, I think I'm gonna, it's, it's going to be my duty to give this person enough love to actually see you, Guti, how beautiful marriage is. Can be. Can be. So to persuade her outside of what she believes marriage yes. is. Yes. Her concept of marriage. Her concept of marriage. Yeah. It, 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 yes, it does make sense, but I feel like there's a, there's a bigger picture to okay. that. And yeah, it just happened that, Guti, there was an ultimatum which I literally just stumbled upon while I was on Instagram. I'm like, oh, she has an ultimatum. And one thing, one thing I can tell you about us, we we are big on reality shows. Okay, she, you watch them together. She plugged me like, yeah. yo, uh, we would binge watch reality shows indoors the whole day. We, we even sometimes even forget to bath. It's like he ask us, <laughs> we've been been here eating snacks, just being on reality <laughs> shows. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. So I don't know how it happened, but I always say everything happens for a reason. And yes, I think it was just part of my purpose and her purpose at the same time. And then I was like, baby, this is what I, I just saw this and this now. We were literally at Brown. I remember she was doing her hair as I was waiting. And I'm like, um, okay, I'm applying for a reality show, the, the ultimatum. And she's like, are you sure? Do you know the ultimatum? <laughs> I'm like, yes, I know that one. We watched Nini Nini. Ni, ni. Like, okay, cool. She just gave me her names, everything. Like, we, we, it was not a discussion, a matter of, are sure. we sure? Let's go sit down. Yeah, she yeah. said yes. You see, this is a woman who's ready to to go through anything with, with you, you as long as maybe it will make you happy or Kanye, it has the, the, the end results. Mm-hmm. End results will be made. If, she, if I'm happy, she's happy. Mm. You see where it is now. And I was like, okay, sharp. And at the same time, I was like, it's only been six months, man. It's not going to work. But let me just do it. Let me just do it. I submitted everything, pictures, our names, my names. And I was like, okay, cool. Let's go home. Forgot. Call comes in on Monday. I saw Eben Broom like, I don't remember applying for <laughs> anything. Yes, Eben Broom. Or auditioning for anything. But this has something to do with that application. <laughs> I knew it. I don't know if I screamed or jumped. I'm like, here, they called. And we, it was the both of us. I think she, was, she just came back from work. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, and then they set up everything. We spoke to them. We went through the whole process. It yeah. was a whole process, my brother. If I say a process, they don't just pick. Sure. There's a reason why they pick. They pick their people. Uh, based on their research and they know and judging how the show went I think it was a success they knew exactly what they were, what doing. They were doing or maybe it was also a blessing how the way is in Dozian being a corner with the cast and everyone yeah, yeah. but the way I see it now with all that I've been through and the the results so far I think I say that it, it was meant to be it was meant to be sharp we can look at it in the little entertainment yes it's entertaining for someone out there but what it has done, what the show has done for me and for us, and I know that it has done so much also for her, it, it, it's, it's part of my purpose. Just for the viewer or the listener who's not aware, so the show is called The Ultimatum South Africa. It takes a few couples who believe they're at a wit's end in mm-hmm. their relationships, and one of them wants to get married, but the other isn't sure or whatever they have issues in their relationships or perceived issues yeah so it takes them through a process of six weeks where in the first three weeks Mm -hmm. they find a new partner who's from one of the other couples yes and they do a trial marriage with the new partner Mm -hmm. so it's um cheating with permission cheating with permission (laughs) (laughs) i like how you put it um why cheat why do you have to cheat with permission to find who you are uh lindy and two did you fall in love with tabby Hmm. I was hoping you would not go there, but it's love. <laughs> <laughs> Cheating with family. Whereas when I think about it now, I'm like, already when you when I answered your previous question now, I said, I saw this thing that I want from Caesar and I was like sure that, hey man, this person is the right person for me. Why not just be patient with her and then hope what is in this of figure up one day? Yeah. And I said, yes, this thing just, it just popped up on my screen and... Yes, and I like, well, I applied for the ultimate mm. and then I, we made it. They only let us know, I think, January the 20, last January last year, and we started I'm a, I'm a pro, with all the processes in November, October, I'm not sure. You can see how long it took. So, um, I'm there now at the show. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, now you have to really live it. Now I'm here. There's no backing out. And my mail was the worst part. I told myself, I'll go to this reality show, I'll script it. It's fake, you'll get ah, it. Plus, <laughs> I'm now busy hanging, busy into the black door. Yeah, when I'm getting, I'm trying yeah, to learn the yeah. industry. I'm trying to see, learn from, uh, just from the background. Now I want to see, I want to see now in reality. Mm-hmm. How's reality? Ah, it's scripted. It's not scripted. It isn't. <laughs> we get there. The, I thought they will, I thought they will tell us everything, everything that we need to say. You would, we must say this and that, and this is how you say it. Ah, oh, but no. See the couples see again, la see again. Eh, okay. I couldn't mic. The only mic I have is the one on me, and so? it's gonna listen to my dialogue, everything yeah, that I'm, everything I'm say. saying. My heart was pounding, my brother. I'm like, I'm not shy. I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> Baby, I was shaking. I was shaking in that room. But yeah, I put myself together. I'm like, hey, I've been in uncomfortable situations before. And yeah, I'll, I'll survive. Mm, mm, mm. But it took me time, especially during the speed dating process. It was very difficult because I've never been that guy. I don't know how to put it, but I've never been that guy who will be there at the street and sees a pretty girl and book me saying, I like you. What? Yeah. I, need, I, I want to be sure. I want to see you somewhere and have a reason why maybe I want to be with you. Ganya, why I like you. Sure. Sure. Makes it sense. has to be like a, a thing, a frequent thing. I'm like, yo. What am I going to say? I Apparently, I was just talking about Caesar. I remember Tabi saying that I was just talking about Caesar. And he was like, ah, this guy, not the one. Kanya I don't even want to speak about her. Like, she shut me off from the get-go on our first date. Well, we had a, a, a maybe an okay conversation on the following date uh, when it was everyone, when he had, he, what was it, cocktail night. Yeah. And then Abanya, I can't remember. There's the chats I have, I had with them. And then there was Ruth, who I spoke to. I felt to go to our conversation was very natural. Mm-hmm, and I was mm-hmm. like, I could see something happening there, Sizobona. And it so happened that I ended up with Tabi, which I think we 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 kind of had a connection mm-hmm. on our second date also when we were at the Clay Cafe. We did something together. I could see that she was digging deep because I think I'm someone who I'm not closed off, but I don't. Give out everything, J. Zisugane. I want to read the next person first. Mbonguti, how am I going to accommodate them? But at the same time, not inconveniencing myself. I'm not trying to be someone that I'm not. So, yeah. Tabi, first three weeks into, into it. Um, I don't know what to expect, but I see Guti, she's someone who's very talkative. I'm like, this is good. Maybe my extroverted side will come out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, but it won't be there always, obviously, all the time. And then. The introvert will, will kick in any time it wants because I'm naturally introverted. But we had a very a successful trial marriage, if I should put it like that. Because once you start getting vulnerable, that's when now you start catching feelings from, for someone. Because you're with this person for an entire three weeks. You wake Every up next day. to them. You yeah. talk to them. You talk to them about your family. You give them parts of you that you don't just give to anyone. So they have full access. It's your choice, though. They don't force you. So it's all up to you. I felt a good team now. Uh, I'm going to take this approach because I need to be fully myself. And for me to be fully myself is me being vulnerable and literally just opening up to the person. And how she received me was just, um, that's where now the connection started building up because now I'm, I'm, I'm worried. I want to know who's your dad. How's your relationship with your dad? Who's your mom? Where do you come from? How do you see life? What do you want out of life? Yeah, what are your career choices and whatnot? Yeah, so I think that's ultimately what built our connection. And yo, Yazi, when it, it got to a point where I was like, okay, now, sharp, I, I understand. This is all nice and good, but I came with someone here. Yeah. And uh, we, we, we are supposed to live together, but what is this now? Hey, it was very tricky, my brother. It, it needed you to really put yourself out there and really dig deep. Yeah, well, and. It's very, it was, it confronts you now. Like, you know, when something confronts you, it confronts you. Okay, you say all of these things, you live by the, all these rules, these principles, but now, where does this put you now? Where does this put you, Yabo? So I had to also remind myself, Gutierrez, there's so many women who are good, honest, kind. You can name all these things about uh, when a woman must have, but uh, there's just something about Usiza that. I can't even also explain Nubuti why are we why we are we are together because we love each other. Sure. We understand each other. 
But I think we, we, there's just something about our relationship. There's a purpose also in Jinga Ayonji. I, I'm yet to find out, but I know. You know when you know, it's a feeling. It's there, and yes. Did you ever, in the three weeks, especially in week three, when it's closer to the end, because I'm, I'm sure mm. in that process there is a lot of connection that you've built with Utabi. Mm-hmm. Our brains and our hearts can be very stupid. Did your brain and heart ever say to you, Maybe God brought me to the ultimatum because <laughs> Tabby is the person I needed to meet. No, brother, it's a, it's a, you have, you literally have a dialogue with yourself. <laughs> when you, when you did, I remember this one night when I, it was, it was actually in the morning, early, early, early hours of the morning, five o'clock. I went outside. I couldn't sleep because now I'm just feeling all different kind of emotions at the same time, and they are literally just here. I don't know what to do. You've never been in that situation. Because mm, mm. there now, it's not like your real life stuff. It's, it's an accelerated experience. Mm, mm, mm. And I, it's either you are still or you're just a closed-off person if you don't really get to connect with people. So we connected to a way that I was like, I'm starting to question my relationship and I'm starting to question myself, Ugutina, where's your integrity? What do I stand for? Where do, what do I stand <laughs> yeah. for? Like, what is this? My guy. <laughs> I felt like crying. I remember the team, the crew literally came in and they were like asking me questions. How do you feel? I was like, my heart is heavy. <laughs> I don't know how, how a heart, heavy heart looks like, but it yeah. felt heavy. Yeah. It literally felt heavy, my brother. Like, yo. I was like, nah, this one, he wishy wishy layman. <laughs> and uh, he's fucking you on. He's fucking, I was like, standis. you know when you're like, standis. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm here. I need to finish what I've started. And going now to the second trial marriage, back to Caesar now, that's where now things were really like very difficult. Mm, mm, mm. Now they were very, because you've, you've built a connection with someone. Yeah. We, don't, we mustn't take connections for granted. Sure. You've built a connection, you care about that person. And there's still your person which you still love, but now it kind of like disrupted the connection here. Mm-hmm, you know? mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because now, obviously, Caesar will come and say this and that. Now, I'm being very protective, and she sees it. One thing about women, they see, they know. And you think they are wrong when it's also, also tra- 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 defender. They know. My, when they know, they know because they are women. Yeah. You're talking about another one, you're defending them. When Caesar says this, I'm like, no, Tabby's not like that. You just see it this way because of this. What about you and Katego? You're being defensive. Mm, mm, Don't mm, be defensive. Mm. I think I tried so much to not be defensive and just be neutral. And I'm just, okay, we are in the same process. We went through the same thing because I feel like both of us were fully immersed into the process. And we kind of, we, if there's people who should understand how things are, it's the both of us. So we had to fight for a relationship here to, to get back there and to actually come out together i'm not gonna let you go from this one do you believe it was love i wouldn't say it's love i think i want to put it like a bubble because now you got comfortable okay you got comfortable so everything just makes sense everything feels right it felt right it felt right okay yes so i didn't i i didn't want to fight it In, in as much as i was fighting it inside but i was like let me just allow myself. But sometimes I could feel a bit in my, <clears throat> You're doing too much. You're doing too much. Stop, stop, break, pause. And Tabby could see this. That's one thing. She could see. And she, I remember telling her, telling me straight up, Guti, we're now at the Caesar. Well, there's no way you will leave Caesar. I see it. And I was like, oh. Shuguti <laughs> gang, I'm to Not that you're it. not sure now. Yeah. You know it. But when another woman sees it and they are with you, I am fair to that person is yours. Yeah, do what yeah. do whatever it takes to make sure good you fight for that person. Do you believe? Um, last question about this 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 particular aspect. Mm-hmm. Do you believe that the people who went to the extent of having sexual intercourse with people they were in trial marriages with, or mm-hmm. like what the hell are you doing on that show? Because that wasn't the purpose. Yes. To put it, I'm gonna put it like this, Ne. Yes, it's an ultimatum. The ultimatum is the, the, the whole thing is we marry or we, we move on. But what if you're, the person you're with is not the right person for you? And now uh, an individual now gets involved in, in that instance now you just mentioned. So maybe it, it felt right for them 
or for the one person. I'm scared that, of this folk feel right thing you talk I, about. I don't want to speak <laughs> on other people's behalf. I, I, will, I hear you. I, hear I try you. not to, but I'm trying also to to put myself in their shoes because now I was also in the experience. I'm sure. like, okay. You know how accelerated it is. How accelerated said. it is. And uh, maybe if it happened to Gutinamu, I was like, you know what? I have made up my mind already. I don't even need to go to the second trial marriage. This person... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know what I know. What I know is enough for me. And imagine, because since I've only been with her for six months, I mean, I feel like I, it could it, it could have been easy for me to actually say I'm pulling out. I'm pulling out. Yeah, yeah. But I, I knew from the from, from the bottom of my heart to go to ah, Caesar, is the one. So we would I wouldn't know. There's a lot of things also that happened. So, <laughs> and what I can tell you is that as New Zealand we 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 do stuff based on also what what happened maybe in the mm-hmm. relationship mm-hmm. sometimes you don't you don't communicate these things with, with your partner i'm going to i'm going to speak about something that happened uh in the literally the the first week or the first episode if i should put it like that um it's 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 i am not very proud of it but gay i, I think i want to tell my side of the story when when Caesar tried to speak because I could see that she was struggling. Mm-hmm. I saw it from a distance. Uguti. Caesar is struggling, and I don't know what this means. Does it mean Uguti, now we're going to have to pull out of the experience or not? And um, when she when she wanted to come, to, when she tried coming to me to and communicate... Could, and, and say baby. Hey, and say baby. I think it was very harsh. It was very harsh for me to actually speak to her like that. And when I look at the clip now, when, when the trailer came out, I couldn't believe it myself. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. nah, this is an edit. There's no way I said that. Because I know the conversation went south. Mm, that mm. one I knew. Guti, I, we had that. That happened and it went south. And yeah, sharp. We, we tried to speak afterwards because I remember when we went back to the hotel rooms, I video called her and then just to make sure Guti, she's cool. Yeah, but, because I remember trying to go to a comforting end and she, she couldn't hear. She didn't want anything to do with it. And it's yep. an experience where they want to separate. It's a good one. Good. Oh, by all. Sharp. <laughs> um, so what I wanted to explain is that we went through something, actually, just before going into the experience. And I think that's where my thought process was at that moment. And we've also not trying to, I don't know, trying to defend myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think... His situation in a relationship, you say, yeah, to at that time, mm. had a lot of um, influence on so many things. It had an influence on so many things on, on the decisions we took, but you need to also go back as a person mm. like, okay, sharp. I know this and that, but now uh, I also need to stick to my word. And if this feels right, is it really right? Is it right for me? What about the next person? So, yeah. But ultimately, I knew Guti. I, I I had to remind myself, Guti. You know, um, Caesar's the one person that I'm I'm gonna live here with, and uh, we'll just see. And one thing I also need, I wanna also uh, just to put out there is that there's there's also phases now. We we in the experience, we're going through this. We leave now, we go back home because already we're staying together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, we, we come back home with, with scars now. We're still angry, but we're good because now we we both happy. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm and engaged. we chose each other. We chose each other. Because yeah. I feel like we chose each other. That's one thing about me and Caesar. We've chosen each other from our friendship. Okay. And from the friendship now, from me transitioning to the boyfriend, she chose me. Mm-hmm. Yes. I want to expand on that, but she chose me. And you want to choose someone who chooses you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we've always cho- chose each other. So, yeah, we know Guti, we, we, we are a team. We're supposed to be a team. We even sometimes when the other one, Jay, in your karate, I need to fight for her. I need mm-hmm. to be the strength for her, fight, uh, pray, pray for her. So, yeah. Now there's a brand new dynamic. You come back from the show, there's scars, but you still have a year. To, to fix things together privately without people knowing that you did this show, right? Mm-hmm. Because of the NDAs. Yes. Now there's an, another acceleration. You become successful, rather, you become famous. One day you wake up on a Friday morning, you are normal Lindule. By 8 p.m., your followers on Instagram are doing this. Uh, you are being spoken about in every way possible, in every opinion under the sun. 
Oh my gosh, how does it? How has your life changed in the last month? Oh, crazy, crazy. <laughs> you, you know when you're like, I miss my old life. <laughs> uh, I, I thought I was prepared for this, but it's it it just gets every day in jail. It doesn't get normal to mm. you, especially when you're in public. You know when someone looks at you with like, I know you, or I don't like you, because there's in as much as there's there's a following. Abanya want to they follow you because they want to see. Your it's next still, move. Your yeah. next move. They did, they did not like you. Because the yeah. people, cause I, from what I've been receiving, I've been receiving love. I've been receiving love in my DMs and comments, obviously. And I've also been receiving hate, obviously. People are like, ah, you're not good for Caesar. This and this and that. You are an arrogant person. And I'll be there like, okay, sharp. I hear where you're coming from, but I still know myself. It's not easy. Mm. It's not easy. As you, I'm a comment about it. You will see. You will see a comment right. Someone who's being very uh, supportive and understanding, and see where you're coming from. You you remind them of yeah, one of a certain stage in their life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They see themselves in you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But so quickly, you imagine good team and love out 30. Now, I'm positive. 30, just number 31. It's not easy, <laughs> but now you eat just cut. You get used to it at some point because you, you, you need to be content with yourself. Mm, mm, you know yourself mm, better. So, yeah. And one thing about me, I love proving people wrong. I love proving people wrong. Hence, I started by saying good team, wanting to belong, yeah, wanting to relate. Mm. From from the family now I'm here now I'm 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 in the public eye I'm literally in the public eye and I'm asking myself okay now what what do I do do I need to justify myself I'm like live your life as it is but also still recognize your flaws and be this better person that you want to become because I can see it already Gucci I, I'm I'm becoming a better version of myself ever since I've met Caesar in my life uh, ever since now I've also I'm trying to be more accountable than just saying. Ah, we right. You're wrong. Well, so what? Yeah, well, you you wanna fix. You wanna fix. You wanna fix. You wanna get better. So, it hasn't been easy. How much pressure is there to look happy on social media in your relationship? I wanna I wanna speak about a few posts. I think I I, I kind of felt pressured also to to be like, okay, I hear people are saying that I don't love Caesar. Let me maybe try and post something that they can see, especially maybe an old video that will show when we started, how how easy things were. Because a lot of people are like, yes, when someone does not like you, they write you off completely, my brother. Like, they will look at you and like, look how serious is this. <laughs> Why is he like that? He's not affectionate. He's not affectionate. <laughs> I'm like, yo. Ha, ha, ha. You are, you, I, I ask myself, like, okay, now it seems like now these people are going to dictate my life. Do I have to or not? Is it worth it? But I'm like, I know I'm not like that. I know I'm not like that, but yo, I angazi, angazi. So, eh, pressure in Indian. It's 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 a lot, but it's becoming like I think it's dying down, day by day. It's dying down because I literally spend my whole day with Caesar. She goes to work, or I'll go to a gig, <coughs> yeah. come back. She will fetch me, or sometimes we go together. So, I'm like, let them say whatever they want to say. I know where I stand. My person is 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 happy. Mm-hmm. So that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. I, I, I really hope it doesn't add layers of complication to the relationship that you guys are trying to build. Because, mm. um, I can tell you for free, whether there are cast members who will like me for saying this or not, mm-hmm. some of them are moving weird because of the followers they have overnight. Umundu Bena, 3,000. Four weeks ago, they're now on 50,000. And you're like, <laughs> dude, you weren't moving like this yeah. when you were a normal person. Yes. Uh, you're putting on a show. Which is mm. sad because um, I can tell you uh, I I've been on social media for just over two years and the mm. and uh, w- with my, with this platform having so many views and even on my personal pages, guys, fame is not that deep. Eh? It's not, ne? Just li- just live your life, just live your life. Like, like log off and re- live your real life. Mm. Like live your real life. Be I yourself. promise you. Yes. Because now if you're going to live under uh, my expectation, I want to do You're mm. going to you lose won't. yourself also in the process. Completely. 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 And I wanna this is now the yeah, what I'm I was trying to, to communicate with Caesar about marriage is that sharp. I'm like marriage is not that serious, man. We we we, we can literally define our own marriage. Mm-hmm. I want mm-hmm. you to be exactly as you are when we are married. Obviously so is one of my boundaries because now imagine Sisuka with friendship. Friendship be friendship. 
maybe now in my boundaries, but not as much as the romantic relationship. Mm, mm, mm. So I think she was getting, it was a bit difficult for her to adjust to those boundaries because mm. she felt to go to my now she can't confide in me or mm. when I with those deep conversations or as fuck to which I might not be happy about. But that's just how life it, life is like that. You it's you have to every we have to be governed. Yeah. We need yeah, to be governed. Yeah. We need to be reminded to go to okay, don't do this, don't do that, or this is the a way of doing things of or just existing with other people. Do you have fears of becoming a Lindy you don't know because of fame and forgetting Caesar and what she means to you? I don't think there would be anything or anyone who would make me to forget Caesar. Uh, especially considering the fact that where we come from and where we are now. So I think I am everything that I am. Okay, obviously not entirely, but I am becoming this better person that I, I am becoming because of her. Mm-hmm. I am. I see these good things on her, and I'm like, I want this for myself. And I, for me, for for it to rub it to rub it off on me, I need to be with her. I need to literally study her every day, be like her, because she's kind. Not that I'm not kind. I'm also kind, but I want to be as kind as her. Mm. That patience, mm. Jay, having that pa- to be that patient with a person, I would love to be like that. And there's just so many other things, Jay, how she supports her family. Yo, yo, yo. Yazi, I don't think we speak about, Jay, the, the, the pressure that comes with uh, a family relying on you. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot, yeah. my brother. Yeah. Overwhelming. It's a lot. You, We're you, black. Many of us can You relate. can even end up, Jay, just living a life that... That's not meant for you because mm-hmm. you want to make means for the family. For everybody else. Yes. Because here's my thing. I feel like, ne, before I came here, in jo- before I came to Joburg, I feel like my life was just going in circles, going in circles, moving from a job, same job to another job, a similar job, back to the old job, back to the other old job. And I'm like, okay, Shab, I see this. I'm getting money. Sure, I can buy groceries, but... And then what? Mm. Am, am I really happy? Mm. Mm. Is this the end? How, how long is this going to go on? Is this where it ends? Is this, is this where it, it ends? ends? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to go in this cycle, 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 in Mali Pirili corner, buy, buy this, buy that. I'm like, nah, man, there, there has to be something, man. There has to, something's going to give. And I was like, you know what? I'm leaving Bloemfontein because I feel like there's not much resources or platforms for me to to see who Lindile is really is. And I was like, you know what, I'm taking off, I'm going to Joburg. I went to Joburg, a friend of mine uh, assisted me for a, few, for a few months until I got my own place, and then I got to meet Caesar. And it didn't even take me that long. Mm. When something is yours, my brother, it's mm. yours. It will come to you. Destiny. It's destiny. Yeah. So it just happened to go to a friend of mine knew me like, Zane, come, Deep City, they need people, extras. Extra at Deep City. From being an extra at Deep City, someone saw me. They saw something that was coming up. And they thought Guti I would fit there because they saw me on Facebook. Nakona, coincidence. And I don't see. For me, it's not coincidence. It's God. God is now literally guiding you. Okay, now pivoting. that you are here, yes, He's pivoting you. Now we move from here to this, and then from there to there. And when I check everything that I've done or, or places I've been, it's it's just a map. And young Guti, okay, And then if it wasn't for that, you wouldn't have met this person. And I'm like, ah, there's just something about this. And I need to to study it myself. Yeah. You yeah. never you never stop learning. If you even you learn about yourself. Yeah. There's things that you find out about yourself. Which how? Oh, Lindy I've been Lindy for thirty three years, and Lena Manje AP. Yeah. Where does this come from? Which version is this? I'm like, oh okay, I'm here to stay. Let's 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 go with it. Let's see. Is is Tata is Bege Gupi? So I, so I I think I I like where I am at the moment. I'm really enjoying my life. And uh, I cannot wait to see what God has in store for me. And I'm not saying Guti, I'm successful, but uh, with the little that I have, I think you should say it. And as the things that I've done, in, as a man who believes in God, use yes, the words. It's, yeah. it's 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 quite a miracle, man. It's a, it's um, I think I'm a living testimony. And the kind the people people are people from back home are buying in books about buying food, and I don't even know where they get my numbers from. <laughs> they wanna also do what I'm doing. I'm like, okay. Oh, oh, well, it's it, I'm inspiring people from home now. Mm-hmm. They see you, Guti, even you who comes from which Ebu mm-hmm. from an unknown place. Correct. You can also be there. It's not like this stage is for certain people sure. with certain characters wanna, who, who are in a certain way. You yeah. can also do it. Anyone can do it. You just need to just apply yourself, Nje, 
put yourself out there. So I'm all about that, putting myself out there. I don't know how this is done, but I'm gonna I'm willing to learn it. I'm willing I'm willing to do it and try and see if I can do it. And I'm gonna make sure that I do it. That's my thing. That's and my motto. Make sure that I do it well. I do it well. Yeah. I'm gonna excel because I'm a perfectionist. I wanna I wanna do it. Even acting now, because people are asking me about acting. Like, are you an actor? He said he's an he's an inspire, aspiring actor. Simbona Gugu, the mass singer, is that what he calls acting? Acting is a skill, my brother. You also go to school. So you tata serious. Yeah, yeah. So what I, I say that I'm learning these things from the background. I'm studying like this is quite interesting. Yeah. I never thought Namguti I would be on the screen. I wanna be maybe invested in acting. Because I'm like, okay, sharp. But now ever since I got here on that first gig that I I got, I was like, eh. Oh, so this is how it goes down. I'm like, no, man. I need to find out more about this thing. Uh, I feel like I, I can belong here. I need. I feel like there's a there's a there's a place for me here. And so I wanna I wanna I wanna I wanna do theater first. I've been speaking to people who know more about these things, who who have been in the industry. So yeah, I wanna do theater first, and then maybe have an acting coach or just a, a short course because life is busy, especially yeah. now it's been busy. Yeah. You wanna make money also. You. If you have there has to be food on the table. Man, you know, Makoti, I'm a lobola. Where do you get the time for all of so, that? Because there's also fitness involved. Because mm. I feel like in life, I'm, I need to always be in shape. Mm. For me, I think that's one thing that stands out. It just separates me when I get to a place like, who is this guy? Mm. Mm. Where have I seen him? Where have I seen him? Yeah, when, when when people look at you with that eye, it just need, it tells you in Jibuti, you you are special. You are highly favored by God. Yeah, and don't take it for granted. Something that we always ask our guests um, as we near the end of our conversation, um, because it speaks to who they are and, and, and what they believe in. Mm-hmm. What's that one thing in your life that you know for sure? What's that one thing in my life that I know for sure? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know for a fact, Dukuti, I'm going to be... I'm going to make a, a big difference for for other people because mm-hmm. I said this is not only about me. It's also reminding Amachita from Ekaya, Ekasi, Ebozin, who are training the Nabuabazazuguti, what path they want to take in life, what is it that they want to become, but they just found themselves a gym. I'm going to make an example about the gym because I think a gym now has, uh, it has, New kind of molded yeah. me also yeah. now to this person that I am with just the things, the principle that I've applied in okay. life in that I got from bodybuilding. You, 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 you matter and you can do it. Mm. You can do it. You can definitely do it. You just need to believe in yourself. I always tell myself, like, I'm nervous, I'm shaking, but at least we'll have somewhere, somehow. And just be yourself, be the person you are, express yourself. There's people out there who are like you and will see you for who you are. So my takeaway from this conversation is that Lindy firstly said he didn't fall in love with Tabby. You can decide whether you agree with him or not. <laughs> um, that he's madly in love with Caesar. He comes across as very humble. He said he's shy, but I think it's, it's humility. And humility is not a bad trait. So Lindy there's nothing wrong with being humble in life. In fact, um, the Bible says that humility exalts you. It gives space for God to exalt you because you are not mm-hmm. all about yourself. As you're saying, you are about other people as well. Mm-hmm. And I can tell you guys for free that the gold or silver tooth is gone. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode, Lindile. Thank you, my brother, for your time. Thank you for having me, my brother. I hope you enjoyed this. And I really, really hope that it resonates with the audience in the manner that you wanted it to. I hope it does too. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Um, it's, been, it's been lovely speaking to you. Yeah, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Introducing the epitome of luxury living, 
Kalu Luxury Villas and Suites, your private sanctuary of opulence and elegance. Nestled amongst the lush, sun-kissed landscapes of Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, this Kalu Luxury Villa is a paradise of tranquility, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the neighborhood. Step into a world of refined luxury where every detail has been meticulously crafted to create an atmosphere of sophistication and comfort. This villa is kept within a gated and secure property for your peace of mind. The Kalu Villa is available for both short-term and long-term stays, making it the ideal location for your next vacation or special event. This villa boasts spacious living areas and floor-to-ceiling windows that flood the interior with natural light, making you feel at one with the surrounding beauty paired with multiple terraces, an outdoor lounge and a dining area. Live the dream, make memories and indulge in the life you deserve. Contact us today to book your stay or to learn more about this exquisite property. Your oasis of opulence awaits.